Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several space weather notes. We're taking another look at the solar peculiar motion paper because nobody is seeing it for what it is. And we've got an outstanding look at how the May 2024 solar storm punched a hole in the upper atmosphere. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find things were pretty quiet, but only in the Earth-facing position. Limb eruptions on the right were strong, luckily not aimed at Earth. We've got more sunspots and corona holes coming, but let's go now to the solar wind. No further impacts since last night's update. Just the one impact you see here, causing a very short-lived and minor geomagnetic storm. Last night, we described how the Corona hole stream was to be followed by a CME impact, which is already late here this morning. Either it's slowly making its way here, or it has combined with the Corona hole and they hit together. We will see throughout the day. Meanwhile, the sunspots have one location where development and growth is high. Can you spot it here? We'll zoom in on it momentarily, but it is at the southern reach. In just the last 24 hours, a new group was born trailing the southernmost umbral core, growing quickly. Eyes on that today. And also on the solar wind coming this weekend. After facing Earth middle of this coming week, the end of this coming week will bring the enhanced solar wind of that corona hole on the left, looking big and equatorial. Folks, we shared this preprint on September 1st, but it was just a preprint, and since then, nobody is discussing one of the most critical papers of the year. Not only does the sun's peculiar motion basically debunk a key facet of cosmological science, but it's in the exact direction of the galactic core. Shouldn't be possible if it's all dark matter and normal gravity. Uncredited electrostatic and magnetic force is likely in play, especially when you realize both the core and the galactic current sheets should provide them. Lastly, on the science front, huge hole was punched in the ionosphere by the May 2024 solar storm. It was right over the South Atlantic anomaly, which is where we'd expect it, and caused a massive stretch of the magnetic crests around the equator. This solar storm was way too small to produce the effects it did produce, not just magnetospherically, but atmospherically. Something bigger could spell the end as we descend into the magnetic pole shift already underway. Quick note for everyone who backed the Kickstarter project for the documentary film on the ongoing magnetic pole shift, your survey is in your email. Just under half of your responses are in so far. If you cannot find the email survey, just log into Kickstarter, it'll pop up there for you. Folks, a lot happening before the end of the year at Observer Ranch. Be sure to go to ObserverRanch.com to register and book your stay, or just give us a call. Some events are filling fast, others will not be available for last second registration if you just show up. The October prepping events are run by world experts, by the way, I would really consider them. Plan that trip now, and for November, tactical training to kick off the month in round two of the wildly successful Observer Speed Dating, then the film premiere and pole shift conference weekend, and potluck for Thanksgiving. ObserverRanch.com. We can't wait to see you in person, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.